Here, uh, what is now the ruins of Thebes, Ted Pharaoh's bunker, essentially, where he brought a selection of scientists and self-indulgences to see out the apocalypse. He tried to essentially become immortal, similar to how the Far Zenith Project have done to themselves, but it ultimately failed. He attached himself to the power supply and sort of existed as some sort of monstrous husk down in the depths of the facility and yeah we went down there with this strange quen ruler one of the seal one of the ruling uh, cast of people uh who died on the way out he was obsessed with ted pharaoh believed he was one he was one of his spiritual ancestors and ultimately got crushed by one of his giant statues as he tried to leave us for dead on the way out it's a bit strange right not necessarily because of well because alva is in a very respected position right i feel like the soldiers who would have witnessed that would uh maybe wouldn't have followed those orders and uh given aloy's connection to one of their to elizabeth and how they revere the ancestors yeah just but uh, he, he got his comeuppance anyway, even if we weren't the ones to dole it out to him. Okay, so what we need to do... Oh, well, what we're going to do later, I suppose, is go back to base, but that's a long way away. So in the meantime, we might as well do some exploration, maybe pillage some machine parts of Stormbirds and the rest of it uh, on the way out. Uh, we've got some ruins here that's a cool point of interest. In and amongst all these buildings, more clamber jaws. God, uh, we could go and see our very first slaughter spine. Uh, so we'll go and check check that out and see what what it's all about. Very Jurassic Park. <laughs> Level up on the thunder jaw, perhaps. It didn't seem to have as many, you know, machinations on the carcass that we saw that from the one over here that the rebels were attacking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head quickly back to Legacy's Landfall. Because uh, things might be a bit different there. There might be some side quests for us there. So I'm not sure how we can quite get back there. Uh, as just in terms of a quest, we'll mark this Relic Ruins. On the map. Um, we'll maybe swim round because it's really high up to get back. I'm not sure we can get there. Not sure if this is the kind of water we can swim through. Let's find out. Or if there are terrifying machines blocking the way. Or sharks or something. You would expect Aloy to be able to use her bow, right? Underwater. It's me, the saviour. I'm back. Doesn't look like we're going to get any Quen armor. Sure. Don't know whether the DLC will be to do with them, to do with the Quen, sorry. Yes, yes, quests have popped up, I was right. You ready for guard duty? And it's not the rumors either. Nice. Right, let's see what this one is first. Is it someone on the ship? Please, could you spare a moment? Sure, sure, sure. 
Ancestor. Please. Yo, Ma. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. Cool, cool, cool. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? Hmm. It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone could you maybe bring the relic back for me it meant so much to oris i i'd like to keep it safe for him of course all right if anyone didn't suit their haircut it's this guy all right okay the souvenir we'll check the map shortly these crashing waves and look at all their ships as well a long way offshore there's no way we can find our way back home like this what's up i promise you we'll find a way home harriam we're never getting that gyro compass back we're stuck here for good the ancestor reborn may we be led to truth just Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. Okay. Uh, are you the captains of the vessels or in charge of navigation? So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. Yep. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen Way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. Hmm. Um... So where is this ship? You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Hmm. Okay, and you left your crew behind? You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. Oh, right, she left. She was scared I wouldn't right. return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever. 
see her again. Okay, so she meant left, like as in back home. And what exactly is this device? A different type of focus, perhaps? So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you, since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland, and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. Interesting. All right, uh, I don't know how I'll get past the waters, but... Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Hmm. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Really? What is this Wings of the Ten quest? Is it well, is it the main quest? No. Hmm. Huh. Not unless you can fly. Hmm. I hope that's not like a side quest I've not done. No, these are all like high level quests. Level 32, 32. And the main quest is still on level 30, so maybe it will be uh, some... Okay. Maybe. I think I get it. I think I, think I, I think... can get to that ship. At least, not now. Yeah, it's, I predict we're going to be able to fly on a Dreadwing. That's unbelievable. Because there's no Dreadwing sites on the map. That quest is called Wings of the Ten. She just mentioned flying. And we can glide, but we can't fly. <laughs> we will become the bat. The Dreadwing. Right, where is this other quest? It's uh, up here near these sun wings. So we can go to the souvenir. We can go to the relic ruins. It's the slaughter spine. Okay, we'll go to the ruins first. I don't think there was anything we really wanted to buy. We didn't, we've not really picked up any new resources from those corruptors. So let's go on a little trek. Yeah. How are you going to fly on a Dreadwing? That must be what it is. Like, unless, well, there might be some other flying machines we've not come across yet. But the fact that they don't appear on the map. There you are on the mend already. <laughs> There, there you are. Let's go on a little trek. I'd love it if, uh, to see how high we could get on one of these buildings. Right, let's head off into the city. I don't know if this bit of climbing, bit, this climbing bit here is purely to do with getting to that drone. Obviously we didn't come up this way. We had quite a lot of volatile sludge, right? We can carry a bit more of it now as well. Okay, I was about to sneeze. There it goes. There it goes. It's gone. Look, it's gone. 
Is there anywhere we can actually climb up? I mean, you can't expect them to have designed buildings this high in terms of the interior, right? But maybe there'll be one. Beautiful. Reminds me a little bit of that building in, was it in The Last of Us in part one? You are safe, Pelican. Oh, maybe these will be underwater ruins. Yeah, I can see the climbing path already. Awesome. Wide moors. Really love this outfit. Probably my favourite. The legendary version has a better colour, but... Quinn Scout told me about. There should be a relic inside. All right, let's have a look. Okay, I'm in. I should take a look around. We need a power cell with some fire gleam, apparently. There's another building past that big hole in the wall up there. I wonder if I can get over to it. Really? Energy cell. It looks like it's out of power. Oh, it's out of power? Okay. Plug this in. We need to charge it in there, right? Maybe I can power something up around here. There we go. And it cells charged up. Nope, looks like the cell's losing power. Oh, the cell's out of power. I gotta charge it up again. No good. Yes, I know. Energy cell's out of power. Let's, uh... Well, I'm not getting up to the ledge that way. Course. mean we can get over to this a bit easier I guess I think I can make it to the elevator from here quickly energy cell must be damaged. It won't hold a charge for long. Got it. 
The elevator should have power now. For how long, though? God, this is a terrible idea. This thing still works. Yeah, me neither. That, this is such an awful idea. Right, a thousand year old elevator. Right, we've come pretty far down. So I guess the energy cell holds its ch holds its charge a little bit better when it's plugged in. Metal flower down. More fire gleam. We're stabbing everything. Just another shortcut. Okay. Okay, maybe we need to drag this crate around. Okay, it's quite an elaborate puzzle. Well, at least it seems that way. There's an ornament in there. Um, how do I reach it? Hmm. Okay, from uh, Joeri Kaufman to Brendan May. Storage instructions. Okay, Brendan. Pay attention now, because if you ever need to get into the main office storage, you've got to jump through a few hoops. Leo and Astrid are the only ones allowed in there, but you'll find yourself needing to get but it but you'll find yourself needing to get in there as the new assistant superintendent. We're playing kinda of loosey goosey with the rules, so don't ask. First of all, you need a physical key, both Leo and Astrid have one. But if they're not in, you can find a spare one in the north wing on the seventh floor. Secondly, you'll need the code. It always consists of Leo's bump code followed by Astrid's. I know Leo has a habit of changing his and Astrid aims to do the same, so you might have to inquire with them. You, you can find Astrid on the ninth floor. If Leo is in the building, he'll, he's mostly hanging out in uh, Delon's cafe on the 7th. I'll see you after the weekend to show you the ropes some more. Leo's followed by Astrid's. P.S. We've got pretty close ties with the electronics guys next door. Use the passage on the fourth floor if you need to cross over and take the elevator up. Okay. Seventh Come floor, ninth this. floor, fourth floor. The door needs a key module and a two-part code to open. Sounds like I might find those things higher up.
Okay, so we're on the sixth floor apparently. God, I'm confused. Oh, wait a minute. There was something on the wall I saw from the scan. There. It's sort of deliberately blocked off, isn't it? That letter could be useful. Just gotta find a way to lower it. Right, we can shoot through that hole, I guess. Oh, catch a moonfish! Right, that's how you catch fish. Um, is there a button for the other shoulder? I'm sure there was. Oh, what was it? I'm sure there was a button for the other shoulder, I've just not never used it. Uh, oh, there's the control layout. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm thinking of a different I can't game. Shoot the lock on the ladder while I'm in the water. Okay. Um. I guess we just drag this out and push it in. Needs back up. Try again. Bingo. There's an opening in the wall behind the ladder. There's an opening in the wall. Oh, there we go. A key module. Good. I need is the two-part code for the door. Okay, that's one part of the puzzle.
Excellent. Right, um... We can probably get over to there. That's the seventh floor. We need to get to the ninth floor too. Oh! Okay, I have no idea where I am. This is the ninth floor. Good job. I think I really need to come over here. This is the eighth floor, right? Doesn't look like I can get up there. No. I'll keep it in mind, but. So we need to pull that crate down there for some reason. Yep, I shouldn't have glided. Better shake off this wet. We could make that. Well, at least the sun's out. Okay. 
I won't get frustrated. Come on. Going down. <sighs> Damn it. I mean, maybe I just need to grab it, to be honest. That's the point. There we go. What do you mean, there we go? What can we do now? Okay. Get in here. Right, so I think I can pull that up here, can't I? I think I can pull that. Okay, and because the that snapped off, I can't exactly uh, jump up. we go. Oh, never mind. There's a data point here. Interesting. Leopold Mitchelson. To Delon Wales locked in. You're lucky you can cook Delon because by all that's holy, you were last in line when they handed out the brains. I've told you a thousand times that I don't know your access code. Even if I did, I couldn't send it to you. It's against regulations, but I can't leave you stuck in there either. So here's a compromise. Use my bump code this time. Open the radial interface of the console. Start with a two and from there just hit each, hit each number counterclockwise. So from right to left, delete this mail and don't tell anyone I sent this, sent you this, especially not Astrid. On the other hand, I doubt you'd even remember if you tried. Leopold Mitchelson. Uh, what did he say? So it said two, one, 12, 11. This could help. Oh, it's not a clock. What am I talking about? Two one zero nine. That's one part of the code down. Just need to find the other. Okay. Not a bit of a loss for the other one, Aloy. You said it'd be on the ninth floor, yeah? 
That's the room we can't get in. I think we need to go across to the other building. Like Aloy suggested earlier. Maybe. What did uh, what what did the message say now? Um, sack pal. Let's just go down and read it again. Right, so we've got the key. So I think it's the spare one we got. The Astrid is on the ninth floor. So can we go back up on the elevator? Maybe I was supposed to find that first, I don't know. Let's just take the elevator back up and, and check. possible. So this is on the fourth floor. Oh, do we need to bring the crate up here? Yeah, that's got to be it. That's why this elevator is so ridiculously large. I see what you did. Clever game designers. No elevators this large. Okay, hang up. Come on, crate. Okay, I should be able to make the jump to the other building. Uh, made it. I God. think the office I'm looking for should be around here. That's a bingo. This data might help. Leo, I'd like to bring the current security measures to your attention. Again, I know you're a very trusting person, but I don't feel safe when the entry code to the office block is just one zero floor number. It's too easy for someone to guess, and why only three digits, not four, like any normal code? If possible, I'd like to schedule a meeting to talk about a system that is both forthcoming to our tenants and worthy of being called security. Also, and I say this with all due respect, handing out your bump code to whoever forgot their personal code isn't helping either. Next Thursday after lunch, ninth floor conference room near my office, Astrid. Um, okay, one zero floor number. Is that her bump code? Well, that didn't work. Should be a book 
code I need for the door. I think I have everything I need to open the door to the relic. Excellent. That's quite smooth by my puzzle solving standards. Okay, now for the code. Yeah, two, one, zero, nine, one, zero, nine. There we go. Champagne. One more ornament for the collection. I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. All right. Right, where should we go next? Uh, there's some fire gleam I've not blown up, apparently. Clamber jewels? No, thank you. Uh, let's maybe head north for that side quest we picked up. Yeah, there we go. To the north. All clamber jaws are banned. Although that building does look quite interesting. I suppose the biosphere wouldn't have actually had that long to grow over these buildings, right? It would have been barren wasteland for the majority of the time, and then... Um, when the biosphere was restored, then everything would have grown onto it, right? So it's not been that long with that stuff growing on it. It's alright, mate. Don't worry. Uh, there's a black box nearby as well. Uh, we'll head to the quest first. We'll trek. We'll need to trek back anyway. God. Cook should know what to do with this. Beautiful. Claw striders. Okay, something's knocked over these trees. It must be the tower Joe Moore mentioned. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. Really? Okay. I can see a data point over there. Forever young. Julie Park, today on SciCast, we talk about recent advancements in gene therapy and what they imply for the human state of being, and more importantly, the state of mind that comes with it. We're joined by Dr. Jarno Mathis, Professor of Extropy and Media Philosophy at LA Los Angeles Technolo Technology Institute, maybe? Welcome, Professor. Dr. Mathis. Thank you for having me. It is imperative that this subject gets a foothold in the public discourse. Why exactly? Sorry. Before we get into that, what is your stance on all this? Gene therapy for a prolonged life? I remain firmly opposed, even though I can appreciate the claims of its evangelists. You see, the arguments of people like Dr. Zhao, Dr. Kim, and the late Dr. Hopkins are not untrue. All those spearheads about improved health, strength, recovery, longevity, true greater clarity of mind, focus, 
and exponentially increasing intelligence also true. It is, in fact, man-made evolution. And please take a moment to appreciate the gravity of that con concept, man-made evolution. Hmm. But you think we should let nature run its course? No. Saying that would, in my opinion, undermine the advancements of humankind and what makes us unique as a species. We thrive on overcoming nature. No, for the purposes of this talk, my argument against it is twofold. One, this type of gene therapy is costly beyond the scope of what a run-of-the-mill citizen can ever imagine. In other words, this therapy is reserved for the elite of the elite, widening the class gap even further. Two, and this is where it gets interesting, how the mind is affected by the transhumanist condition, by which I mean how will one's thought patterns and behaviour change when one is superior in every quantifiable way. It's a great point, right? I was kind of speaking about the same thing with the Zeniths, how they see themselves as more than human or and a more advanced human because they've overcome death. That's what that was leading to. Wings holding up. Right, this is where the fire claw striders are. Really dense here. Sun wings aren't too difficult to deal with, but I should try and knock some parts off them. For sure. Right, we're looking for the Quen Scouts. Probably need to take down the Sun Wings. I wonder if there was another cauldron that could teach me. Another cauldron? What are you talking about? Right, it's the plasma fin. And the shield caster. Right, we need to leave the plasma fin intact. The sparker and the resource container I don't really care about. Sorry. And there's another one flying around, so Could use purge water ammo to my advantage. Might be a little tricky to get the jump on these things. If any scouts made to that tower, I doubt the sun wings up there missed them. I should check the place for survivors. Guess I'm climbing. Oh, the stupid leaves.
I got one at least. I need to find a way up this tower. Something's shooting at me. Oh, that's awesome. I think I've knocked that thing off every other time. No, it had melee attacks. Oh, there's another one! This is going to be epic. Oh, I can't hit it. Come down a bit. Oh. Damn it. was awesome. Oh. Okay. I knocked off a few more of those things. 
We didn't knock, knock off any fins. Did I misread about the fin on the head? There's, a sh there's the other shield caster. Right, that's everything. Let's check if anyone's alive, which is doubtful. Okay, I didn't realise there were four Sunwings. I guess, I don't know if they can summon reinforcements. I think reinforcements are usually like basic machines, like scrappers. Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Is that a remnant of the Golden Gate? Is it Golden Gate Bridge? I can't remember. The one that's next to San Francisco. Or connects San Francisco. To somewhere. Well. We've got the glider. We don't need to be too worried. Oh, Nathan Drake. Uh, another close one. No way they made it all the way up here. A Quinn scout. Oh. But there's only one way to be sure it's Jomar's brother. Better check for the relic. Focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a oh, right. tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. By the looks of things. Whoever was with Horus must have met a similar fate. Oh god. Now let's just get out of all these bloody trees and so we can get a nice view. And decide if we'll head back or maybe have a little more of an explore of the island. Because we might get given another side quest. And we've, we've got one that's going to take us out to the ocean once we learn how to fly, of course. Oh, wait, what? Search for more scouts. Did some die on the approach, perhaps? I don't know how the hell that guy got up there, other than climbing the same way we did. But... Machines weak against plasma. Okay, I guess I missed something in here, then. 
Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down so quick. Hello? God, the trees here are just all over the shop. Can't make anything out unless we maybe have to climb back up. Oh, the beach maybe? I mean, it does cover that area. Everything to do with leaves has gotten in my way in this episode. You can't get me up here. Oh, we could try out Hunter's Mark again. That'd be quite good. These are probably the wrong machines to try this on. Because they're so cowardly. Does that not trigger it? No? Bones must have escaped to the tower. Too bad machines got in there. Oh, I guess the skill had deactivated. The. Yeah. Cheeky little watcher. Don't you look at me.
great. Okay, so they died down here, some of them, maybe. Okay, so what should we do? Because we could do like a little lap of the island. But we are going to have to go back to the boat to get off the island. I believe. Footprints. So, yeah, I can see a body. Alright, so, we're still pretty close to them, uh, there's probably, there will be reasons to go over here, I imagine, um, but I would like to see if we maybe get another side quest that is within the island, if from going back here, so, let's see if we can swim across here. No tide rippers, please. Man, there's a whole cityscape under the sea. Or the ocean. We can swim right through it. Oh my god, how awesome is that? Epic and ominous this looks. Refreshing, I guess. All right, let's head back over to Lamfall. I just want to dive in the water. This is uh, insane under here, man. We could just spend ages under here just looking around. I'm sure some of you will know some of the landmarks here. But other than like the really obvious things, I'm not great on uh, San Francisco. Okay, about yesterday. We're okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, sounds very California. <laughs> you okay? Oh my god. You holding up? All right. Uh, I might check in with the Stitcher again just to see if any other Quen stuff has popped up on there, but probably not. You've returned. Got bad news, unfortunately, mate. Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horace. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. 
If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. The rope custom. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. Right, spent all this money on a rope caster. Um, yeah, same shame about his brother. Oh, right, it's a canister rope caster. These things aren't great. You just have to be so accurate to, to trigger them. It's like adding another removable component to the machine that you have to be really accurate in striking. All right, what have you got? Oh, an explosive blast sling with advanced explosive stuff on. Yeah, we've got to get this. Let's just have a look at the other stuff. Uh, Delva trip caster, pulverizing spike thrower. Are you sure you're not an Osterin, mate? All this explosive stuff. And the, a glow blast sharp shot bow. It's all pretty good. <laughs> I really wanted one of these blastlings. Oh, so, uh, it's very expensive, but I'm gonna gonna get it. This might be a good idea as well, particularly if we have fire on this. I mean, if we lose the other blast, if we use the, lose the other blast sling, we lose a lot of elemental stuff. I do use the spike throw as a reasonable amount, a reasonable amount. But these have advanced spikes on them, right? So it's probably a good idea to pick these up. Yeah, let's get this. That's not worth it just for the plasma damage. This uh, rip steel shredder is pretty decent. But yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get the pulverizing spike thrower. Let's uh, sell whatever we've got here as well. About a thousand. Serve you well in battle. Cheers, pal. Alright, so at the minute we've got the corrosive blastling. Is our only way of applying acids and purge water on the current setup. Um we've got plasma, shock, and frost on the uh, bolt blaster. We've got some fire on the spy thrower, but we're about to swap that out. Again, we've got shock and plasma on the rope casters, but I'm not sure how useful they are, but there's not much I can do to change that. The elemental stuff is important. I mean, do we get rid of the sharp shot bow? Do I dare? I mean, we did a lot to upgrade this, so... The, the blast sling might not be a great idea. I just wanted to check it out at the very least. It has fire th fire bombs on it though. And so I am going to equip this instead of the scalding one. So let's just see how we can upgrade this first. Right, uh, we have to be very careful what we choose here because of our lack of small machine cores. You would have thought I would have got some from those uh, watches. All yeah, right, shell snapper so, uh, bolts. Our last roller back tail, sunwing shield casters. Good job I knocked them off. Oh, I need the shell snapper bits to unlock the advanced ones. Look at how much explosive damage that does. not really worth it until we unlock that, personally. I don't think. This is going to be like the last thing we'll be able to unlock from the bottom. Because if we look at this, we're going to need small machine cores for this as well. But we can upgrade this a lot further. 
We need the Sunwing stuff for this as well. Dreadwing stuff, right. We could get this to level 3. That's 200 explosive damage on the advanced bombs. It's pure damage though. Pure damage isn't always a great idea, is it? I think it would probably be a better idea to keep corrosive blast slinged for the elemental damage while we're using the rope caster, I guess. But maybe we we swap out the sharp shot bow, I, I don't know. But maybe we'll get I mean we get pretty good explosive damage out of this. And when we get the advanced ones, that's that pretty much replaces the blast sling, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, let's invest in this. I find this I find these easier to aim as well, to be honest. So shell snappers is what we need. And small machine cores. I can probably buy them, right? Uh, no. One of my best. I can't believe it. Use it wisely. That's just bad manners. Finally up and about. Right, I'm just going to see if the Stitch has got anything new after the quest was completed and stuff. I don't think they will, but... Now, can we talk to... You ready for guard duty? Greetings, ancestor. Yeah, yeah. No, looks like we can't talk to them. That was an awe-inspiring battle, Huntress. It's no good to be hungry in the world. Okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll leave the video there, guys. We'll head out and explore the rest of the island last time. Next time, last time. Next time. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to fly, uh, fly on a machine, it would be my guess. Purely because we, I noticed about the Dreadwing sites not being on the map. Surely that it must have something to do with that. Sadly, couldn't save this guy's brother, but they've got a better map of the area now. Um, we don't really have any more specific quests here. Maybe more will unlock after we do that quest. After we head back east. But um, I'd like, I don't know if I should explore the whole island. I feel like maybe when we come back to do that side quest, then we could do, take that opportunity. So maybe we'll come back south, check out the slaughter spine, and then we'll sail back to the mainland. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Or we could just check out the slaughter spines on the way back on that beach. Probably a good idea too. Oh, I forgot about the black box because I, I I cut across, didn't I? Yeah, I think it, I think that would be good. Leave something to do here for when we come back. We've got the black box. We've got uh, this western side of the island, which is, there's bound to be something here. Yeah, when we come back to do this side quest, we'll do that. All right, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.